Okay, this is a super quick update. Um, I worked last night and then slept today and I kind of slept more than I should have, which sucks because I haven't actually filmed a proper video today. So this little update is all you're gonna get today, but better than nothing. Um, so yesterday we went to Automotive Paint Supplies in Fishwick, got some uh, 2K clear in a can. So there's two parts of this, two pack. Um, mainly so when I cut, coat the carbon fiber when it's on the on the car, it won't yellow over time and crack. Like this should actually do a good job and it should like, should set and have a really good shine to it. Also some uh, 3M76 spray. This is good shit. I did my uh, headliner with this. I'll be using this to um, actually just place the carbon fiber on it. On the spoiler, I mean. Let's check how this is going. Yep, so that seems to be nice and strong. Um, so I kind of just need to fill this gap now. Still trying to figure out what I'm gonna fill it with. But yeah, so that'll be the top side with a nice roll on the edge. This will be the bottom side, it's a little bit creased, but you can't see that from underneath. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much done for how it is right now. I'm still considering whether or not to chop an edge, make it flush with the spoiler that's on there now, but Eh, all in due time, I can think about that later. Maybe we will cut the carbon fiber for this now. Okay, so I got the bit of carbon laid out. The spoilers underneath this. Now I've gone over how far I think it should be. Um, I learned a really good tip to use painter's tape to not only mask out where you want to cut, but so that you don't end up with this. All this frayed edging, which made, when you're doing carbon fiber, as soon as you start mixing that epoxy, things become sticky and messy very quick and it can turn into a shit fight where you panic very quick. And once you touch something sticky like the epoxy, it's on your gloves, it's everywhere. When you grab on, when like when you were to touch the piece that has soft edges like this, you start to literally pull the fibers and strands apart, turns the piece to shit and it's a nightmare. So doing this, you cut down the center of the tape that then creates something that'll hold the edges from fraying, keep them perfect how, like what this little piece of thread does from where it comes from when you buy it. Um, and once you've got that edge, you then have two sealed, like the working piece and then the leftover piece are still good with a good, nice, sharp edge instead of this. And it'll hold all the fibers from wanting to fray and go in every which direction when things get sticky and messy and I'm gonna make it a lot easier to work with. So now I'm gonna cut this out. And then we'll have our piece of carbon that we're gonna use. We have the cut out piece that will go on top. One thing I learned from last time is like, you can see just here that it is actually all see-through when it starts to break the weave and get like holes in it a bit. So you can usually like push the weave back together, but it's still not foolproof. So I think what I learned from last time is I'll paint this black just so anything underneath you can't see, just to be sure. So I should have some black paint in the garage. For once in my life, I actually don't have any black, but I do have this dark silver. Um, pretty dark, it'll be better than the galvanized finish. So we're gonna do this. All right, so just one quick coat. Doesn't need to be anything special, just needs to be a bit darker than, I guess, galvanized silver. Um, but that'll be perfect. Now it'll hide a lot of what's underneath. Perfect. Now, literally, all we need to wait for is the epoxy to come, and we can come fire with this bitch. Okay, so now that that's painted black and we've got the carbon cut, literally, as soon as that uh, epoxy arrives, we can start doing the carbon fiber on this. So excited. Can't wait. Extremely keen. It's coming together. I think there's only like 45 or 44 days left till summer, so I'm glad I started this now. 
All right, that'll be it for today's video. I will catch you tomorrow. Um, still don't know what we're gonna do for tomorrow, but that's the mystery. All right, catch you tomorrow. Peace. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging. There's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing. This paper got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it turn into envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm.